Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nicole Mashburn and I'll be your instructor for Biology 202, which is Human Anatomy and Physiology 2. So this is the second part of your anatomy courses. So if you had me in 201, welcome back. If you're a new student of mine, welcome to my course. I'm going to try to keep this short. I probably will go a little over, but I want to sh just show you where to find things and how to get started. For most students, uh, this is their second semester in anatomy, so uh, it doesn't take a take you too long to get oriented to the course but for those of you who are new to me or maybe new to online I do want to make sure you know where everything is okay so uh, obviously if you're watching this you've logged into Blackboard and you figured that out so I'll open the course um, this is a, you know, it should take you to the announcements page uh, so make sure that you always read announcements I post in announcements at always once a week, uh, usually two or three times a week. So you want to make sure you log in and check your announcements um, every time you log in to see if something's changed, if I've had to make a change to the course, or just, you know, uh, reminders or some, maybe something the campus needs you to know. So make sure you read the announcements every time. Uh, there aren't any in here yet because the semester hasn't started. Uh, so some of these things uh, won't show up until the first day of class. Uh, the first thing you want to do is click on Course Information. Um, I do have everything loaded in for course information. And so it will show you a short video, which hopefully you've already watched, because if you're watching this, that means you've already read Get Started and you've clicked on the orientation video. Obviously, yours will say spring instead of fall, because again, I haven't built the course yet. I'm still working on it. Um, if you want to know a little bit about me, you can watch this short video. Um, what you have to do, make sure you do, uh, is click on Calhoun Policies and Procedures. Uh, this is information for every student for every class, so be sure you understand and read through the college syllabus. And then we have a course specific syllabus. So this is just my class. So you'll click on this link. It will open up your course syllabus and be sure to read it. Uh, it has information about me, my office hours, how you can find me, the name of the book, uh, what we're going to cover, how to get the book. Most of you probably have the book because you had 201. Um, if, you've, if, if it's been a while, you don't have the 11th edition, you'll need to purchase a new book with a new code because we do use the online mastering homework. Um, if you don't have a code, you can purchase that through Blackboard or at the bookstore if you have financial aid. Okay, uh, so again, if you have questions about the textbook, let me know. But most people in 202 are just uh, rolling over the one they use for 201. Same, same code works. Everything should work just fine. Uh, you don't need to buy a lab guide or any kind of PowerPoint notes. Everything is for you in Blackboard. It's all free. You just download it. Um, this tells you how we're going to teach the class. Uh, there are no on-campus meetings. Everything is delivered through Blackboard or the uh, Pearson Mastering website. Uh, you only have to come to campus uh, for testing, or you can stay home and test using Honorlock for a fee. I'll talk about that in just a minute. So there are no labs. Sometimes people think you're going to come to a class come to campus for lab. You don't do that. Everything's online. Um, this is what we're going to cover. We're going to cover a bunch of stuff more than in 201. Uh, so we've got to cover the, the blood, the heart, the endocrine system, the lymphatic system, immunity, digestion, respiration, reproduction. Mm, I probably forgot something. Urinary. <laughs> that's an important one. So a lot to cover in 202. It's a lot of information. Uh, this is the grading plan, so make sure you understand that most of your grade comes from exams, so it's really important. 40% uh, from lecture exams, 40% from lab exams, and 20% from homework. Uh, most of that homework is through mastering, and there are some discussion boards that I'll show you. Uh, your exams are going to be given via Blackboard, again, either at the testing center or uh, you can do it through Honorlock. Both lab and lecture exams are on Blackboard. Uh, real important here, extra credit. There's extra credit on the exams. I don't give individual extra credit, so don't ask. Uh, so if, um, if there's extra credit, it's available to everyone. I don't do individual extra credit. Grade scale is just like everybody else. 90s an A, 80s a B, 70s a C. Hopefully nobody has to go below that, so we won't even talk about it. Um, these are the units that we're going to talk about. Uh, here is the makeup policy. Make sure you understand the makeup policy. Uh, for this class, uh, I have specific deadlines that you have to meet in order to stay on track to finish the semester on time. Um, you can work ahead, but you can't fall behind. All right, so this is not an open enrollment course where you just sign in and, oh, I'll get it done eventually before the end of the semester. I know there's some courses like that out there. This is not one of them. So make sure that you look at due dates and you turn everything on time. So um, if there is an extenuating circumstance where something goes wrong, uh, make sure you read the makeup policy so you know um, how to do that. 
There's no comprehensive final, so that's good. Uh, you just have five unit exams. And here's your uh, schedule. So uh, today you can already know when your uh, exams are due uh, so that you can go ahead and make arrangements for uh, that portion of your life to be clear <laughs> so that you can take those exams. Um, now, one thing I want to say before we move on is you'll notice that the exams, um, everything in the course is due at 11.59 a.m. So whatever the due date is, it's due basically at noon. And I know you're going to say, oh, yeah, but I'm at work at that point, or I can't do it at noon. Do it the day before, okay? So the reason I do it at noon is so that the night before, when you should have been doing it, if something goes wrong, if your computer dies, if your mastering craps out, if something happens, you can email me, and then the next morning we still have some time to deal with it, okay? Um, you guys usually do your work at midnight. I'm usually asleep. So if I have the due date on a Monday at noon, because I know all you – you all do your homework on Sundays, and I'm not going to be available on a Sunday. Um, if something happens, then Monday morning we can adjust for that. So everything is due um, at noon, not midnight. All right. So when it says things are due on a Monday or a Thursday, again, if that doesn't work for you, if you can't get something done before a noon on a Monday or a Thursday, then you should do it on Sunday or Saturday or Friday before it's due. If you can't get it done by Thursday noon, you can do it on Wednesday or Tuesday or Monday. Everybody's schedule's different. Some of you are working seven on, seven off. Some work 40, you know, 40 hours a week. Some work 70 hours a week. Some stay at home. Some have five kids. You have to make a schedule that works for you. Just make sure everything is turned in on time by the established due dates. Okay, same as uh, if you had me for 201, then you're used to that. Hopefully your 201 teacher had due dates for you last semester, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I don't usually have problems with 202 students. They know how to get things done. All right, so that's the syllabus, so be sure you read that. Then there's a quiz. Uh, you get two attempts to take it. Just click on the quiz, uh, answer the questions, and that is a required grade. This is how I know you're in the course and that you're marked present. So to, to be counted present for the course or for me to take attendance, you have to take this quiz. All right. If you're not sure about the book, here's some information about the book you can read about. If you don't have it, if you need to get a new book, uh, uh, this is the book we're using. Again, don't buy a lab guide. It's all free for you in the, in the course. Um, these are just some housekeeping, how to communicate with me, use email, uh, what you could expect, what... Uh, what I should expect from you, what you should expect from me, and the testing policies. All right, so this is one be sure to read because, again, you can either test at the testing center or you can use Honor Lock. Uh, Honor Lock uh, costs 30 bucks a semester. Testing center is free, but, again, if you don't live near campus and you want the convenience of testing at home, you can use Honor Lock. Um, so be sure you read um, – through all of this so that you can make a decision and decide how you're going to test. All tests are proctored. You can't have books or notes or cell phones or smartwatches or anything like that. Uh, so, to, so don't feel like you're going to take honor lock testing and be able to cheat from home. They're watching you. Everything's videotaped. Everything's recorded. So it's just like testing at a testing center. So be sure you read through this. Uh, do this today. Don't wait to the day of the test to decide what you're going to do, testing center or honor lock. So make sure you read through both of these protocols. Again, most people have had 201, and they've already made a decision. They're going to do what they did for 201. All right, so you've finished the course information. I know I'm going fast, but usually for 202, everybody's like, yeah, I got it. I did this in 201. No problem. All right, so you're like, where is the course? I want to get started. <laughs> so the stuff is in course content. All right. Um, if you did your Blackboard student orientation, uh, you can submit your certificate here. I'll give you a couple of bonus points. Um, I don't require it, but if you've got it, might as well get points for it. Um, there is a calendar. And so um, don't freak out. Your course is the one. Let's see, I've got all my courses showing up. Sorry. So yours is going to be the purple one. So everything, uh, I haven't got all yours in yet. Obviously, I'm still working on all my classes. So everything that's due will show up in the calendar. So you'll you'll see uh, uh, your syllabus quiz and your mastering homework. Everything will show up uh, here. So make sure you check your calendar and that'll keep you on track for when things that are due uh, for a grade uh, when you need to do those. Mm, content. So you have a calendar. Some people forget that there's a calendar. So make sure you check that. Um, if you don't have the textbook or uh, you need to buy a new code, 
uh, you can either click this link or there's always a quick link over here. Uh, you can go to Welcome to Mastering AMP and that'll help you get registered. Um, if you're ever, you know, like where are my assignments or where's the textbook or anything in mastering, you can get to it from this left hand side. Okay, so it's always there. Um, I've also made some quick links in the actual course area so that you won't forget to go read the book, uh, that you have homework, um, that you have a study area. So just quickly, if you click on Pearson Text, it'll take you um, to the actual textbook. So if you have a paper copy, you read the paper copy, if you have a text, a um, digital copy, you could read it, the digital copy. So it's broken down by uh, chapters. So you could just click on a chapter and read. So uh, again, I don't care if you have a paper book or a digital copy, but if you have the digital copy, I've given you a quick link. All right, um, I've also made you a quick link to your assignments. It's a little slow today. Everybody's on Blackboard and Mastering today. So I have a calendar that shows you um, all your mastering assignments. Now, while I'm here, in case I forget to tell you later, um, if it's in blue, it's for points. That's a graded assignment. You have to do that. OK, uh, when it says read, this is just your reading assignments. This is what you need to read for the chapters. Um, and so they're not for points, but obviously I want you to read. OK, and then these other things that say module, these are practice. Uh, one of the things I got uh, in my um, every semester in my evaluations is students want more practice. Uh, so you'll notice there's a ton of it. So as much as you want or could ever want is here. So if you're like, hey, I, I didn't understand blood typing or I don't understand this or I don't understand that or I want to make sure I get it. Uh, these are all practice. So anything in blue is required. Uh, anything uh, in this module is practice. So there's uh, no excuse for you not to have plenty of opportunities to learn the material and practice it. But again, don't forget to do these. These are the ones that are required. They are available to you from the first day of the semester. Um, for or for of the unit, uh, so just because um, you see that they are due on that Monday does not mean you should do them on that Monday. Remember, they're due at noon, so I would uh, suggest doing them earlier in the week. Uh, don't wait till Monday to do it. So that's your mastering. All right. So if you ever can't remember where your assignments are, you can always get to them right there. All right, so the way this course is set up is we have five units and uh, you'll see the rest of the units later on. I didn't want to open everything up the first day because I've had students for some reason go to unit five and take the unit five exams and we haven't even done unit one yet. So for the first couple of weeks, you're only going to see unit one and then unit two will open, then unit three, unit four, and unit five. So I don't want anybody to, to get lost and confused uh, at the beginning. So you'll click on... Um, the unit. Uh, each unit has a list of objectives. Uh, look at, think of that as a study guide. This is what you have to be able to do by the, at the end of the unit, so don't just gloss over it. These are important to know. Then you have a study guide. Uh, the lab list, that is basically your lab guide, so this is what you need to know for lab. And then there is the lecture study guide. Uh, these are still, they're like learning objectives, they're, but they're written in question form. So if you can answer all of these questions for each one of these chapters, you should be prepared for the exam. Um, one thing about the lab list of structures, let's see, where did I put is it there? May have shut it down. Um, when you take your lab test, um, the, the answer key for the lab test, I use the um, organs and arteries, veins, whatever, as listed in the lab guide. So when I put a picture on your lab test and I say name this artery or name this vein or name this organ, I'm going to spell it and write it just like it is in the lab guide. So that's, you want to make sure that when you're learning these things, you're not using some other off-site um, resource. Sometimes people use things that are done in like British English versus American English, uh, or they're using an old textbook that maybe we've changed the vernacular, that the, the spelling's changed, or the wording has changed. So make sure you use what we use in the lab guide. These are the answers, okay? Just want to point that out. Most people learn that in 201. Um, again, I have another uh, folder just to remind you that you do have mastering homework. 
So you can click on it. You've got the, uh, a, a link to all the practice modules and then your actual things that you have to do, reading and your assignments for points. I put them in basically the order that you should do them. So if you're like, hmm, which order should I do them? Because sometimes the calendar students get a little confused on the order. So this is the order that we're covering it. So make sure that you, uh, you can come through here and click on each one and do it in the correct order. All right. Uh, and then this is where your actual course material is. So you don't want to start with your mastering. Okay, you want to read, go to mastering and do your reading. Uh, but don't do your homework until you've watched the videos. Okay, uh, every semester, there'll be a student uh, that won't do well on the first exam. And I'll say, well, what did you do? She goes, I did all the mastering. I said, well, what about the videos? Did you watch the videos? Did you take notes? Invariably, I didn't know we had videos. <laughs> So the mastering is the homework. In these folders, this is coming to class. This is like you came to campus and watched videos and uh, had me lecture or came to lab and we did the lab together. So they're divided into week one and week two. So this is what we would basically do on campus in a week if you were coming to class. And you just simply click through and read and you'll have videos. Uh, if you want to have something to take notes, there's some PDFs uh, of the PowerPoints. So you can print those off and take notes if you want to. So you just simply click through the videos, watch the videos, and that's just like you're coming to lecture. Okay. Um, every once in a while, I may find something that I want to add. Uh, this may be a review. So I'll say, hey, click on this, and there's a great review um, uh, just for practice. All right. So those are your lectures just like you were coming to to campus so what you want to do is like for unit one the first thing we cover is blood so you're going to watch all the videos read chapter 17 on blood and then watch all the videos about blood and then do those study modules those dynamic study modules that are for practice then you want to do the homework uh, and get your points so that way you 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 don't lose points you want to get as many points on your homework as you can so you want to read the book watch the videos practice using the study modules and then do your homework and get your get your points um, there are a few assignments that are not in mastering they're actually in blackboard uh, sometimes it's a case study sometimes it's a quiz uh, it'll always say homework so you know it's not practice it's four points uh, in this case, uh, this is a case study that you'll open up and read, and you'll answer questions. And you'll put your answers in the discussion board. So it's a graded discussion board. And so it tells you how to do that. And um, if you've never done a discussion board before, uh, it's not too hard. You just click on it, type your answers in. The key is then you have to look at other people's answers and give them feedback because usually uh, what you'll find is maybe you've had a wrong answer and you'll see the correct answer in another student's answers. So you're going to compare what you wrote to someone else's. Then before your exam, we will release the actual answers and make sure everybody gets the right answer. So don't worry, you're, you're always make sure, I'll make sure everybody has the right answers before the exam. Okay, so that's the discussion board. I know I'm going fast, but again, most students have had 201, and it's really not a whole lot different. Um, so then week two, uh, in this case, we're going to cover blood vessels and lymphatics and immunity. So you'll read those chapters, you'll watch those videos, and then do the dynamic study modules for practice, and then do your homework. And then in week three, this is where your exams will be found. Um, there's a reminder, again, of uh, what to do if you're going to be doing honor lock or testing centers. Uh, and then you'll have a lab exam and a lecture exam. So if you're testing at home, you'll use the honor lock exam. If you're going to the testing center, you'll use the uh, testing center, the respondents um, links. Uh, testing center hours vary uh, each semester. Generally, they're open from like 8 to 7. Uh, but I do have a, a testing center um, link. Um, Let's see, where did I put it? I think it's in course information, I believe. Hang on. Yeah, so here's a, a link to the testing center. So it tells you their hours of operation uh, and what you need to do to be able to test at the testing center. All right. Um, the last thing I wanted to, to say before I let you go um, is make sure that you make a plan okay so each we have five units each unit takes three weeks 
So 3 times 5 is 15. That's a semester. So what you don't want to do is try to get everything done in one week. You want to spread this out. It takes your brain a lot of time to digest and learn this much information. So you want to do work unit one or week one. You want to watch videos and do your homework in week two and then take your exams in week three. Um, this is not a course that you should be planning on doing on Sunday afternoons. Okay, you want to make sure that you're, you're doing something every day. Um, if you were on campus, you would be with me four and a half hours a week, lecture and lab, all told. That's four and a half hours with me on campus. For every hour on campus, my own, my own campus students, they spend two to three hours doing their mastering homework, reading the textbook, and studying. Okay, so that's an additional nine to ten hours a week outside of class, plus the four hours in class. You're looking at about 15 hours a week just on this class okay so if you think about a week having seven days that's a good two hours a day just on this class and I know you're thinking wow that's a lot it doesn't matter if I'm teaching it or if Miss Graham is teaching it or anyone else on campus or Dr. Ansardi is teaching it that's just what it takes it's just that much information and there's literally nothing I can do about it because that's what you have to know for your pre-health, uh, your health science courses, if you're going to go into nursing or PT or pre-med or pre-dent, that's just what the requirement is. So what I suggest is open up a unit, kind of kind of get the landscape, how many videos are, are there for the unit, uh, how much homework is there for the unit, and kind of break that up and do a little bit every day. Make sure you're spending a couple hours every day. Watching videos and doing the mastering is not studying. Okay, watching the videos is that same four and a half hours a week of just doing class. So do not count that as your study time. Okay, doing the mastering is reinforcing that information, but you still have to study. So doing mastering will not prepare you for the exam. That's, that's not your study time. All right, you have to literally go back, look at your notes, read through your notes, answer your study guide questions. Uh, and things like that. So again, most people understand that because they've made it through 201. And so they have a plan. Um, I just want to make sure that you that I reiterate that in case this is your first online class. It's really easy to procrastinate. It's going to be uh, that's the number one reason people fail the class is procrastination. They wait to the last minute to get things done. Um, the exams again, lab and lecture are both due on a Thursday at noon. Um, I strongly suggest that you take the lab exam earlier in the week, like Monday or Tuesday, and take the lecture test uh, either Wednesday or Thursday morning. The reason is if you know the anatomy and you understand that vocabulary, then answering the lecture questions is a whole lot easier. All right. So make sure you get, I suggest doing the anatomy test early. If you were on campus, we would take our lab test on Monday and our lecture test on Wednesday. Okay. So that's, it just makes more sense if you can do your lab before your lecture. Um, I understand for some people it's hard to come to campus twice a week. So by all means, come one day and take both tests back to back. Um, also, if you do that, just think you're going to be taking two exams. They each take about an hour, so you're going to be sitting down and taking two hours worth of exams back to back, and your mind will explode. So again, that's another reason to spread it out. Lab one day, lecture another. Again, exams are due at noon. Okay, so you can't start these exams at noon. They have to be submitted by noon. So if you're going to take them on Thursday morning, Take that lab test around 8 or 9 o'clock and that lecture test around 10 or 11 o'clock so that you get them both in uh, by noon. All right. Um, let's see. There's one more thing I wanted to, I wanted to say. The study area. Because, again, the, the number, one I, number one thing I got on my evaluation is I wish I had more practice. Uh, so don't forget there is tons of practice in the study area. Practice tests and quizzes. There's art labeling activities. So, uh, so go through and explore. If you're looking for extra help, extra activities, uh, make sure that you take advantage of that. If you need tutoring, we have a link to tutoring.com. Uh, and then in student resources, you can set up tutoring through the Star Institute. And if you're lost, if there's anything about Blackboard or the campus or the college you're not sure about, uh, check out student resources. All right. Um, I think that was all I was going to say. I hope, I hope that was it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, don't, f uh, you know, be sure to email me. I did want to point out in the discussion board, 
I do have an introduction so everybody can introduce themselves to the class. It's a great way to meet people. Maybe you want a study buddy. So if you want to post that in there, hey, you know, introduce yourself to the class. I'm looking for a study buddy because you might meet up with someone virtually or in person. Um, if a link is broken, let me know. If something is not working, let me know. Uh, just this semester, at the end of fall semester, when I got my evaluations, a student had put in the evaluations, the course evaluation, that a link was broken and Dr. Bashburn never fixed it. I never got an email that there was a broken link. I never got a discussion board that there was a broken link. <laughs> so if I had, I would have fixed it. So too late to let me know at the end of the semester. Let me know. If you can't hear it, if there's something wrong with the audio or the video is not playing, let me know and let me see if I can fix it. Don't post it in the evaluations when it's too late for me to do anything. All right. Um, uh, so I think that's it. I think uh, we'll just get started and I'll be posting some more information, more announcements. Um, I know that's a lot for the first day. Um, I look forward to a great semester. I know you guys are going to do great. 202 students always do great. Um, it's one of my favorite things to teach because everybody's gung-ho and they're excited. They love the information and they're looking forward to getting on with their careers. Um, so anyway, have a great semester and I will see you soon.